Now let's turn to a real problem affecting so many people here in West Texas. Emergency rooms are beginning to see more and more patients coming in in need of help with their mental health. It is such a big problem. There's simply not enough inpatient beds for them. Christina Burgess now joins us now. Christina, how are doctors trying to help these patients? Well, Crystal, right here in West Texas, local physicians saying that they're doing the best they can with the resources that they have, but they are calling on more support from our community. As an emergency physician, we see anyone, anywhere, anytime for anything. An emergency physician, Dr. Sudeep Bose, is starting to see more patients seeking mental health help. Specifically for this area, Medical Center Hospital in the emergency department in the year 2022 saw 1,023 psychiatric patients. With more patients coming in to seek psychiatric help, doctors say it's starting to impact care for other patients. These psychiatric patients require more physician, nurse, and hospital resources than other patients, and thus diminish our ability to evaluate and treat other medical patients who are awaiting emergency care services. Over at Permia Care, we're, I think we're not reaching everybody we could be reaching. They're also seeing an influx in calls pertaining to mental health. Assessments of last, last year, um, we ran approximately 2,500 calls face to face assessments. Which is why our local physicians are calling on more support for those dealing with mental health issues. For years, state support for mental health resources has been on the decline and services for psychiatric patients in the United States are simply inadequate. And as a result of this diminishing support, psychiatric patients are more and more often turning to emergency departments for their acute care needs. Loved ones and people who care for these patients, family, friends, neighbors, can do a lot to help prevent a hospitalization, whether it's that social support or just reaching out your hand in support. Now, Dr. Bose also tells me it takes three times as long to find an inpatient bed for a psychiatric patient rather than just a medical one. Crystal.